Brady, this is not a spring chick. And yes, it happens. Oh, wait a minute. Go hey, fought toy. You're going, huh? Okay, so it's the beginning of the month of February. Actually, in some places, it already started in Singapore. It's a two-month celebration for Chinese New Year's. But we kicked it off in Beverly Hills last night to celebrate Chinese New Year, which is the year of the snake. Oh, yes, good things happen in the year of the snake. Oh, actually, do you want to, do you want to hear? Is it seen on here? Let's see. Mm. Um, oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yes, wishing, wishing you success, wealth, and fortune. Well, I do see that. It's always good fortune for Chinese New Year's. Anyway, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Go <laughs> Of course you want her to eat the dog food. Yeah. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, they're battling now. I mean, uh, their <laughs> immigration thing is going nowhere because here how it works. 11 million people get amnesty the first day and there's no guarantee that any of the enforcement will ever take place. Oh. And they said it, just, it, uh, it will get passed. But it's going to get passed on 46 Democrat, 46 Republican votes in the Senate and the House, and uh, five or six in the Senate because there's a lot of people. They uh, will not guarantee that there will be any enforcement. And that, that you know, so um, you know, the, I love it. I heard him talking last night. They asked Rubio flat out. He said, "Can you guarantee that any of this will be enforced?" And he said, "No, but we have to do something." And then they said, "F you." Oh. He said, uh, "He said, you stand up for that thing, and you just—you're not even going to get reelected to dog catcher in Florida. We'll make certain about that." Ow! Well, no, because he's going to—he give amnesty flat out. It is amnesty. The, the Democrats don't want to call that, but they're going to allow green cards to 11 million people, and That's they don't not right. have to do anything. That's not right. They don't, they don't, they're not going to be forced to obey any of the laws. They don't have to learn English. They don't have to do anything. And it's permanent green cards, too. You can't take it away from them. Mm. Once they're here, they're here. But they, I also heard one of the people saying, who's a Democrat, and he's got a Southern Democrat, and they've got a huge problem. He said, you know, he said, he, I, he said, boy, you've never heard of, of, the, of the Cherokees. And hell, they would shuttle them all over the place. He said, you never heard about the Japanese internment camps. So don't tell us we can't ship all of their rear ends out of this country at any moment. Mm -hmm. Same thing is, Mexico doesn't want them. Mm -hmm. so, and yeah. FBI says man used extortion to force women to strip via webcam. I, I love that. I mean, you, how do you tell, for, extort people? I mean, they, first of all, they said they have, they picked women that they knew had done something on, on webcam or posted some naughty pictures. So they threatened uh, to, you know, send them to their husbands or workers or something to force them to strip on camera for everybody in the universe to see who are all taking video, saving the video. <laughs> right. But we don't want these things seen, so they take their clothes off on camera for everybody to see. Uh, it's There's like... something. They, they said that, uh, their, that one guy said, well, they obviously voted for the president. Uh huh. And Kate Middleton's royal nose in demand. Oh yes, because she got this perfect little nose that wasn't altered by surgery. <laughs> we know that perfect perky noses are almost all from surgeons. <laughs> yeah. Except well, you know, Monty's. you know, you can buy a smile. I know that sounds really odd, but I know in some places they have all these celebrity smiles with oh, the teeth, yeah. and you can buy that smile. Oh, there's the latest odd. So what is it? You can buy a nose. The latest celebrity smile is this. Uh, little look from the girl in the mummy too this i think patricia Velasquez, where she's you know looking like the innocent little girl that just been caught with their fingers in a cookie jar mm -hmm. when they uh, when she's looking at uh m hotel that's that's the new smile they're all working for uh, and it's the economy all over again well you yeah, know the economy is going backwards and the market's going upwards which they what people can't understand, they, it makes no sense. How can the market be going upwards on nothing but bad news? It's because the businesses are trading among themselves. They have no, there is no uh, little investor investing in the market anymore. The little businesses are no longer investing in the market. It's institutional organizations that are simply trading with one another, and that's what's causing the stock to go blow up. But the, okay, here's the problem is, they said when little investors invest, the market is solid. When institutional investors invest, if one thing goes wrong, it collapses like a house of cards. And that's what they're aiming for again. 
And Russian city renames itself Stalingrad. Yeah, it's only going to do it on special occasions. Well, what, what is this the Stalingrad that became Leningrad and now they call it Stalingrad no, this for special occasions? this is the Leningrad occasions? that became Stalingrad ah. and then became, uh, became Leningrad. I think it oh, is that a, what it is? I think it's now bought a Vostok, which is what it originally was, <laughs> and now it's going to be Stalingrad again on... I mean, uh, what, what do you mean for special occasions? Uh, no, it's like on, 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 on communist... And like May Day and things like that, they're going to rename it. Stalin. What it means to is why don't they Stalin just rename it permanently? No, because Stalin isn't quite that popular. Ah. Lenin was, Stalin isn't. Ah. But they even they dumped it. I think, like I said, um, uh, they put it back to its na original name, which was Ostebar or something like that. Mm. Yeah. Um, fourth grader science project uses cocaine. Yeah, it used to be. You, you, you wouldn't go. I, I, I grew up in an era when cocaine was an ingredient in Coca-Cola. So well, if cocaine is not that difficult to get, folks. I mean, it's just like you can't like opium. You go, you go. Okay, you go to a stupid poppy field where it grow. I know. Hey, poppies grow wild in Southern California. I know. Actually, we could go find that poppy place again. Yes, and we got to do it next, within the next month or so. Oh, is that what yeah, it is? Yeah, well, uh, maybe it's all gone by the time. Goes by, go by the time we usually have time for it, it's usually all gone, because I think it starts when we're during it's over by, uh, the war season. Down, so we go check on it tonight. And hash oil causes blast, hurts three near the world. Yeah. Hash oil? Yeah, okay. It basically don't, don't mess that. Uh, uh, they're, they're refining oil because uh, what happens is they uh, can't get the hash each three, so they were making it, they were making an oil to put in uh, for people to light up, but it's sort of like a very flammable. Mm. And another cyclist set to confess to doping. Well, yeah, uh, you know, it's just, uh, okay, uh, they're all, everybody is getting involved. I mean, like, they're trying to figure out why in the world that, um, Lance Armstrong? Alex Rodriguez would get involved in it again after he what? suspended once. Okay, anybody here? Hint, hint. He missed, he had surgery done on his leg, on his hip, six months after the injury, knowing that he was going to get suspended for the whole year. That's the next suspension. So he just delayed his surgery, and he has to miss the year anyway. So now it will look like, well, I decided to take my suspension while I was recovering. No, he oh. knew it was coming. So and that's a, his second suspension is a full year long one. Mm. And Japan to start 4K TV broadcast in July 2014. Oh yeah, I mean it's we're actually we have software for doing 4K editing right now. God awful massive. Fun. They're huge. I mean they are so big. I don't know. Uh, you know, I don't think they realized how big those files were going to be. It's like five times bigger than anything that we're capable of putting up on the internet. You can't put that stuff up on the internet. Mm -hmm. You're looking at uh, a half hour program maybe being 20, 30 gigs in size. And Obama, tough call on letting his son play football. I know, that basically did not help right there because he, uh, Obama now, they know that he's coming down on, we've got to stop it. Uh, okay, the Democrats don't want uh, anybody to lose, so they, they have, uh, you know, games now in Little League are all ties. There are no, if you're blow, if the game is a blowout, here's a good one. If you have a blowout, you automatically forfeit the game in some sports. And they what? Have, yeah, and they're wanting the people with disabilities to be allowed to play all sports now, uh, which they can't because you can't put a, you cannot put an armless home, an armless legless person playing football. Mm -hmm. They now are demanding it. So, um, and Obama's leading the charge. Well, you know. It's all right for my daughter to play basketball, but if I had a son, I don't, I'd have to think seriously because so many people get hurt. I played football in a day that uh, they didn't have all of this stuff, and they did, okay, um, I, was, I, I was, I was about a 225 pound receiver, folks. I was a big, wide receiver, mm -hmm. well, I, you know, but, and we got hit just as hard when I was in college as they do today, it doesn't make any difference. I mean, if you're, you're 240 and you get hit by somebody 240, there's the same difference as you being 320 and being hit by somebody 320. It's still like an express mm -hmm. train. And consumer alert, new health care markets on the way. Yeah, and it basically, they can't, they've got like a zillion pages and they're now selling books how to deal with it, but they're figuring out that people are simply not going to get involved. They're going to pay the penalties and stick the government, okay. The Obama wants universal health care, which means the government pays for everything. 
they can't even pay for this program. Mm -hmm. So how are they going to pay for health care for everybody? They're, you're destroying the health care system, folks. Mm -hmm. And a Monty bubble is in from the Mark Twain of the animal kingdom. Oh, and I think sometimes you get very creative when you're very tired. The only problem is you tend to forget what it was you did. <laughs>